China's space industry is currently dominated by state-run programs. But its private spaceflight industry already shows promise despite being in its infancy. The central Chinese city of Wuhan has transformed from an auto production hub to a commercial rocket business center. The city claims they will be capable of launching 50 rockets and manufacturing 140 commercial satellites a year by 2020, bringing 30 billion yuan annual economic output. For example, the market example of the SpaceX and Blue Origin. So their appearance significantly lower down the, the cost for this, the satellite launching, those kind of stuff. I think in China, this could also happen in the future. And actually, we already have the China version of SpaceX, which called One Space. It's a startup and attracted the venture capital enthusiasm the for them. The firm you just mentioned, One Space, hopes to fly its flagship launch rocket in 2018, a rocket that weighs 59 tons with 500 kilogram payload. On social development, the interests of both China and the Silicon Valley coincide. 70% of the area on Earth is not covered by Internet signals as communications fibers cannot reach those regions. We're now working on a project to allow smartphones to receive Wi-Fi signals in deserted and wild areas from communication satellites. It's vital for private firms to partner with the public sector for China's space industry. If we look at the U.S., NASA is a good example. For example, the SpaceX the group set up in the year 2012, but by the year 2006, they actually got the NASA's permit for the, 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 the commercial satellite launching, this kind of stuff. So NASA definitely actually quite open to this. And also, I think NASA actually provided the, some the, the technical staff, actually, to be a member of the SpaceX. For China, with another Chinese space lab set to go into orbit this year, it would make sense for China to get its private companies more directly involved in the spacecraft's maintenance. For example, in SpaceX and Blue Origin, they can use the American-owned the, the satellite launching station, but in China, probably we don't even have a pricing mechanism yet. With companies, governments and investors all involved, are we expecting another Alibaba in the space industry? I know there's a firm in Shenzhen is actually just uh, following this architect to do that. So basically, they connected the aerospace and defense startup and also regional government and also even investors. So basically it's an incubator and it's also an accelerator. So that emerging now. And let's say it is still unclear how much market share the Chinese government would give to private companies. What is clear is that the space industry will be one of the most sought after sectors for investment in the next decade.